Welcome back, uh, friends and followers and subscribers here to Richter's Reviews. It's been quite a while since I did a movie review or did a video of any type for that matter. I do have a certain amount of uh, loyal followers, um, from friends from Facebook or Instagram or wherever, and I uh, figured I would just come on here and just do an uh, impromptu movie review since it's been um, probably about five six weeks since I've actually done a video um, if you are have followed me on Facebook or Instagram you have actually seen that I have I've uh, acquired a quite a big collection um, over the past month um, and uh, some of the movies that I have planned on reviewing are part of the uh, collection that I did get um, and uh, I recently just celebrated my 43rd birthday, which was on Saturday. I unfortunately had to work, so um, I'm off today, so I'm going to enjoy uh, what I wasn't able to on Saturday. So yeah, hopefully um, the, the new uh, way this is filming now is better than what it has been. Um, so without further ado, uh, before I get into the review, um, I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Um, it's... Uh, there's been a lot of things going on for the past couple, uh, almost six weeks since I've done a video. Um, I've been to the um, emergency room um, with inflammation of, of the uh, appendix, which is done better now. Um, I've gotten uh, a lot of, I, when I was able to uh, see my sister I hadn't seen in a while. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically uh, I'm going to start off this video. So I'm going to pop open a uh, wine cooler that I got here, um, which I've done. If you've seen some of my videos in the past, you've seen me do that before. So, but today's drink, if you can't read this, it says Seagram's Escapes Spiked Jamaican Me Happy. So <clears throat> I'm going to try this out <clears throat> for the first time. I don't think I've had this. And what is this? Uh, um... 7.5 fluid ounce, so about one pint. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. All right, so before I get into the movie review, um, I'm going to show you a couple titles that I have planned on movie reviewing here in the next couple days. I got The Burning, which is a classic 80s film. Popcorn. Now, I may have reviewed this in the past, but I'm going to redo a review for It's of Live Trilogy, which contains all three films, which today, by the way, I'm watching all three of them. I do have the Herbie films. Uh, Herbie the Love Bug, Herbie Rides Again, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo, and Herbie Goes Bananas. Now, we also have Robocop, which is the remake. I would definitely give you my opinion on that one. And... Uh, this one is just basically, uh, I just recently purchased this. This contains all eight of the Friday 13 films um, in one set. And, before I start my review here, I do have the complete epic series of Battlestar Galactica. So, yeah, we got all those plus more coming. But today's movie review is going to be about the movie The Burning. Now... Many of you know that The Burning is actually was filmed in 1980, and Friday the 13th was filmed in 1979. The Burning came out in 1981, uh, directed by Tony Malin, uh, who went on to direct, many years later, Split Second with Rudger Hauer, which was a damn fine, uh, great movie, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, the, the Burning, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack here, has a uh, reversible cover. Now, you saw the, the cover that I had on, but this is the cover that main people may have remembered from the VHS days. Um, and now the special, fe fe the special features on this are pretty much uh, from the DVD that was released years back. Um, there is a couple little extra things in here. Um, talking with certain people of, of during of the film. Now the the, the cast, uh, Brian Matthews um, plays the, the lead um, the lead guy in the movie, and Leah Iris she she played on the movie. Uh, excuse me, she played in the movie uh, 
Bloodsport with Jean Claude Van Damme. Now she may remember, may re people may remember her from back in the day in the '80s when she played one of the Brady uh, wives that was on the Brady uh, bunch special, like in the '89 something like that. It also has Larry Larry Joshua. Larry Joshua went on to play in Silk Stockings and Spider Man, and it also has Brian Backer. Brian Backer. Um, you don't hear much about him anymore, but he went on to play in uh, Police Academy 4. He's also played in Movie Violations, and you may recognize him from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Um, there's also other performances by Fisher Stevens. Fisher Stevens played the um, the, the one guy that, uh, Johnny Five is alive, you know, so, like that. He played in the Short Circuit film. Jason Alexandria, Alexander uh, from Seinfeld. When he actually had a full set of hair, um, and Holly Hunter, um, who was, went on to play in a lot of movies like Raising Arizona and um, uh, Little Black Book and Crash, she uh, was in this in, in, a, in a very early role. Um, there's also some other um, actors in it. Ned Eisenberg, who you may remember from Moving Violations, and had a small little bit part in First Born and. Um, He's been, he was a lawyer on several episodes of Law and Order, the original Law and Order. But anyway, The Burning, the first time I saw The Burning was in 1991. So this is like 10 years after the movie had had been released. And uh, it's been one of my favorites uh, 80s slasher films since then. And uh, I remember from the days when... Um, uh, VHS um, was the big thing in the 80s and the, in the early 90s and uh, some things were hard to come by because they um, were out of print or whatever and then when DVD came along it kind of took away the, the, the mystique and things of finding trying to find these hard to find videos but uh, back in 1994 I remember going through a mail order catalog and ordering the uncut version of the burning because um, the video store where I lived didn't have a copy of it, and they obviously weren't going to sell it if they had one. So uh, I bought it from my mail or mail order catalog, and I I still might have it somewhere buried somewhere today. But anyway, the burning is pretty much about uh, Cropsey. Um, a lot of people may remember um, there was a story, um, there was a like a documentary about Cropsey and. Uh, Things like that. Now, the guy who played Cropsey, Lou David, uh, he actually shows up on the special feature and talking about uh, talking about the role. Um, so it's about a, a summer camp. Some pranksters play a prank on this uh, Cropsey character, and uh, he ends up getting burned. And he and years he uh, he ends up going to the burn unit, and after years later, he finally gets released, and uh, he ends up killing a hooker, and and then he goes back to the ca camp where all this stuff happened, and he sees all these young kids in there, and and the slaughter all begins. I mean, so if you haven't seen this movie, I'd definitely check it out. It's something that any 80s horror fanatic, any 80s horror fan should definitely check out The Burning. If you haven't, I feel sorry for you because you're missing out on some great entertainment, great gore, great blood. Um, there is some nude, nude scenes in the movie, but the main thing is the gore for me, the blood and the gore. And... Uh, um, the characters that play in the film, they really, they really played the characters to the hilt, and uh, I couldn't, I, I, I'm surprised that they haven't remade this film. But then again, I mean, why would they need to remake this film? It was classic just the way it is. I mean, there's certain films in the 80s and even the 70s and the 90s that haven't been remade, don't deserve to be remade because they're good for what they are. I mean. You, a lot of the most more popular films like Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Night of the Living Dead, My Bloody Valentine, um, the list can go on and on. It's Alive all been remade, um, but The Burning has not. And that's, and to me, that's really cool that it hasn't because it, try, it kind of takes away from the, uh, the, the 80s part of this film. And um, The Burning has great, has great. Uh, not only has great performances and great gore, but it definitely has a great storyline to uh, for for the slasher genre as it was. Now this was the very first movie um, from the Weinstein brothers. Um, uh, we all know Harvey's uh, transgressions and things he's doing now, but also his brother Bob was the screenplayer, 
a screenwriter for this film, and Tom Savini did the makeup effects. Um, he so he pretty much went from Dawn of the Dead, Friday the Thirteenth, to The Burning, and then went to The Prowler and so on and so forth. So Tom Savini was a pretty pretty well sought after guy. I mean, he did The Maniac in between those years too, and um, and yeah, he he's a great makeup artist, and um, so he did a great part of that. He also directed some of the scarier scenes in the film. So, what would I give this on the Richter scale rating? The Richter scale rating for this movie is a definite 9. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it is got, like I said, um, I have changed my mind from several times over this, over picking uh, the Richter scale rating of this. Um, certain times I've rated it 10, sometimes I've rated it 9. So I'm going to give it a rating of 9 on this review and um so if you haven't seen like i said it before you haven't seen it definitely check it out and it's definitely worth seeing um one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when um they're rafting on uh, on the river and um the killer comes up and he has this like shears and he ends up slicing one girl's head and then stabs the guy through the neck and cuts this guy's hands off and it's kind of like really bloody and gory scene and um you, you know uh the point also a really cool part of the film was when um at the end of the, kind of like at the end of the movie when you see the you see Cropsey all his face is all messed up and they ended up burning him again so and they kind of left it open whether it was it was maybe a sequel or not but obviously it never happened so but, uh, yeah, my name is Brad Richter, and this is Richter's Reviews, and I'm hopefully going to get back into doing these reviews for all the people that do enjoy watching these and do um, uh, keep following me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. I know there's a certain people that I uh, do talk to. Uh, one name is Sam, and another name is Tasha. They both have been um, very loyal um, uh, subscribers and friends. And they wanted me to do another video, and here I am. So, <laughs> hopefully enjoyed it, and I did. I enjoyed doing these. It just uh, a lot of things happened in the past five weeks that led up to where I couldn't get into it anymore. So, so anyway, um, this is in, just going to be the end of the video, and if I'm feeling good and I'm up to it, I'll do another one tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you at the movies.